Hi, welcome to Bear Mountain. Today we're doing a task that has always been kind of a hard thing to do on a manual basis and that's sifting either peat moss or compost or in some cases soil. We usually need a really fine peat moss and fine compost mix to do our mini blocks and so what we built today was a just sliding frame so that we could take our sieve which is what we use as quarter inch mesh hardware cloth on a simple two by four frame that's two foot by two foot. Then we attached some wheels. These are just rigid casters. We got them at Home Depot for like three bucks a piece. Bought some off-size wood from Home Depot as well. Not trying to, you know, make a, a big push for them, but this stuff was pretty cheap. The actual wood frame itself, which it rides on, is a uh, one by th or two by threes and uh, a one by uh, five for the rail and some screws and a couple of uh, just place to hold the thing square. The whole thing took about an hour and a half to put together when you do it right. Uh, I had a few mistakes when it started out so I had to make a couple of corrections but uh, the basics of it is it's just a simple little uh, uh, rack in which the sieve will slide back and forth and if you notice one thing, this is designed for this cart to get it at an ergonomic height so I'm not bending over or reaching or anything of that nature. It's a very simple back and forth movement. So we'll test out with some, this is some cheap peat moss that usually has a lot of oversized material in it, but uh, you can get about three cubic feet of it for about 12 bucks, which isn't too bad this day and age. And uh, it's about maybe three to five percent oversized material. Strange things like sticks and, and pieces of peat that won't break down. So just kind of put it in the sieve and kind of spread it around and just by rocking back and forth, the fine material will fall out, will fall out the bottom, the fines will fall out the bottom. We go through and make sure we just bust up the clods in our hand a little bit, spread it around. Another shake, and then you're you're pretty much down to what's left is material that's oversized or isn't going to break down. You can simply just discard it. We just simply put it on a cut bank over here and kind of feed the uh, the wildlife, so to speak. But what's left is when you're done, is you have a very finely. All the oversize is out and it's perfect for soil blocks. If you have any questions about how we put this together, we'll post some more pictures of it uh, on our blog and kind of give you an idea just in general how to put it together. It's a really simple rigid frame and it works really well and can make your, your sifting go a lot faster. Thanks for watching today and by the way, if you like to see any other videos, we have a link up in the uh, right hand corner and also too if you feel uh, that this information is good we appreciate any support you can give us there's also a link to that and if you subscribe we'd much appreciate it and thank you for watching today